The R Studio interface usually have uh, four panels. On the top left, that's where your code is. Uh, in this example, actually, what I show is the R Markdown file. At the bottom left, that's where your running result is. This is something called a console right now. On the top right, that's where you can see the environment, and that's where you see the variable is. At the bottom right, that's where you can see your file, plots, or help information. And you can actually get the, the R markdown file by uh, choosing the uh, the RMD file, learning R through metric example. So on Mac, I can right click to make sure it's open by RStudio. On PC, you also need to make sure it is open by RStudio. And in, in this case, I double click, uh, take me to the RStudio. So uh, first we will see a title, uh, and then author, and apparently I wrote this last year, uh, in 2019. And this uh, R markdown file going to output into both HTML and PDF. And also add uh, some uh, comment. Uh, so the learning objective, uh, we can load uh, a tabular data uh, from a CSV file into R and describe what our uh, data frame is and then summarize the content of data frame in R and, and look uh, for some uh, categorical data. And you will see those uh, single code uh, sign, three single code sign, that, and then followed by another three single code sign. That's uh, a code block in R. So, between those uh, single code, that's actually the, called a code chunk. And then uh, outside those, those are the comment chunks. And next to the, uh, on the upper right uh, corner of the code chunk, you will see some signs, including one green uh, arrow. And if you have your mouse on that green arrow, you can see that they say run the current code chunk. So, uh, I'm going to run from the first one, so that's just a list of current files. And then if I can also run them, uh, the next one. This one basically read CSV, that's actually read a uh, comma separated a va uh, value file into R. And that was assigned to TB. That equal sign is assignment. So see, once I run this, uh, code chunk, whoops, uh, so you can minimize that, by the way. Uh, <clears throat> you see on the variable uh, panel, we see the table, now it become a variable there. In fact, the table now has a seven variable with 360, uh, 16 rows. Um, we double click that, we actually can see this table. So it's just like an Excel table, but now we read it into R. And so there are, there should be seven columns, that means seven variables. And 316 rows, that's the 316 observations. Uh, and <clears throat> this is actually, TB is now something called a data frame. So what is a data frame? Uh, it's just like a Excel sheet, uh, but this is the name in R, uh, we use it. So, in fact, uh, we can actually look for the structure of this TB variable. It actually tell us this is data frame in R. It has uh, 316 rows, seven variables. That seven variable is what? A gender, age, country, degree, metric, proficiency score, scientific attitude score, and scientific literacy score. And we can, with this data frame, uh, we can actually do something called indexing. So for example, uh, if we look at the 
first one to fifth rows and second and the third column. And let's do that. That will be there. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, uh, five rows. And the second column is, is that H. Let's look at the, the, the table. Yes, second column is H, third column is the country. So and uh, we can also pick say the fifth row and uh, and the ninth row. So in that case I'm going to uh, highlight this line and I just say run that selected line there. So uh okay, why nothing happened? Oh, now it happens. Uh, <clears throat> so the fifth row scientific literature score is nine, age is 58, ninth row age is 35.5. So let's ch double check. The ninth row, uh, yes, age 35.5, and the fifth row age 58. So that's how we do the indexing. We can also do a, a using Instead of using the actual number, we can also use the name of the, the row. So we know one of them is age, the other one is scientific literacy. So if we do that, then we pick the fifth row, ninth row with the age uh, here, the column of age, and then scientific literacy score there. So we can also do something called summary. Uh, this is a very common uh, command in R. Uh, it provides some summary statistic of the data frame uh, TB here. The, so in this case, we see the gender. Well, gender is just characters, uh, male, female, or do not wish to disclose. Age, we can see that's, a, that's some numbers there. Country, uh, Interesting country here is zero and one. That's because the if it's the United States, I think it's one. If it's not, I think it's a zero. And uh, the degree is actually characters, uh, metric uh, proficiency score, and scientific literacy attitude score, scientific literacy score. Those are uh, numbers. So you can also look use something called hat. Look at the the first few. Uh, rows of the data. We can also well, this, what does this do? It actually just look at the second and third column and with just two rows. So yeah. the, uh, we can actually do a tabulation. Also this is tabulation function table. How do we know that's the uh, type uh, what table do we can actually put a pound sign whoops put a question mark and then table and then actually see on the bottom right now we see the help information of the table it's a cross tabulation so uh -huh. so well, there are some people do not wish to answer uh, we can see, wow, this is uh, interesting. So the proficiency, metric proficiency score, the female had an average about three, male had the average about four point, closer to five. Wow, that's seem to be uh, quite significant uh, differences. We actually need to look at the data later on to understand why. So we can also now, uh, do a tabulation of matrix score the gender here. So, aha, uh -huh. so, wow, it doesn't look like a uh, female have a lot of low scores. So there are 21 with one, 40 with two, but males, well, uh, a lot of them actually have pretty high score, like five. So, uh, so that's actually, that means this box plot is correct. Uh, and we can also do something called subset of the data. So for example, if I only want to pick the male, I can use uh, something called uh, 
local ID, only add the mail uh, using the double equal sign. That's a logic uh, equal means the I pick only gender with the mail. Notice this is not a single equal sign. This is two equal sign. That's very important. So if I do that, if I highlight that line, and then say wrong selected lines there. So do, uh, then I pick at the bottom. You will see that pick only uh, the score with males, and now the, then next I pick uh, only score with the females. Select the line. Yeah. So I, I can also run the entire uh, uh, block. So if I just say male is actually an equal sign, that's give me false uh, or true. But since I'm indexing them uh, inside of the matrix, that's actually give me a score. So, so notice that dollar sign, that's actually just uh, uh, grammar in R to say, I'm going to take the table data frame from the table data frame I will pick the column of gender that's the dollar sign means that